That's it. That's, that'll do. I'm honestly impressed that you remembered that much. Well, considering that this was the same song that you made me sing every single time we came here, I'm not so much surprised. But, oh, okay, we got five minutes left in the room. Perfect. Enough time for me to sing one more song. Actually, I was thinking maybe we could just talk. Here we go. Jordan, I'm fine, okay? Hmm. Yeah. Layla's still giving me the cold shoulder, and every run-in with Asher is awkward, to say the least, but I am fine. You still wish you were with him? Mm, it was inevitable. Just didn't expect us to break up the way that we did. Uh, yeah, the weekend at Spencer's cabin was a lot, but maybe it wasn't a bad thing. Maybe it was a perfect storm of destruction to allow you to put the pieces back together the right way. Okay, Jordan Pinkett. <laughs> what does that mean? It's time you go for what you want. Or who? Let me talk to Spencer. There's no future for me and Spencer. I mean, you see how much collateral damage we've already caused with just one Vegas kiss. Look at me and Simone, right? We made a very unpopular decision, but it worked. It turned out great. I've never been happier. Yeah, for now. Until both your parents find out that not only are you married, but you also stole mom's signature to make it happen. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, all right? But in the meantime, you have bridges yourself to mend. Yeah. I'll reach out to Spencer, eventually. I met Layla. Clear the air, once and for all. And then maybe, you know, you and Spencer can... Dust yourself off and try again. I don't wanna wait too